When we were designing Centaurs, we wanted to see what had already been done and then go the reverse. Centaurs through mythology are very egotistical, proud. They were arrogant, but yes. in, in this world they're noble. Yes. They're the saviors. Are you with me? To the death. So in designing the centaur makeups, we wanted to find something that still kept the elegance, kept horse-like qualities, but also made them feel better than the rest. They should be gorgeous. So here I am. Still have to look kind of pretty. Kind of. <laughs> I love it. Aureus is the head of the army. He's a good guy, and he's Aslan's right-hand man. Peace, Aureus. Andrew had a, he had a vision. He took me in, into his office and he showed me a little figure of what the centaur would look like. And then we went through to the animation room and he showed me the, uh, the animated version of the battle. And uh, I sort of started to get a feel for, for what the character was all about. Andrew's the kind of guy that will just let you play your character. I, I sort of played a very stoic. He's a quiet character, doesn't have a lot of lines. Let's say that the words that he says, when he says them, that you listen. Numbers do not win a battle. We can have up to 50 centaurs on a day. Tremendous amount of work for the centaurs, because we had male centaurs and female centaurs. I've met five. Yeah, yeah, I got to know some of the other guys' centaurs. Uh, not so much female centaurs. But I think they're a little standoffish, you know? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, swords, four, five. It's, uh, it's pretty intensive. Yeah, it's pretty scary, actually. <laughs> go through the whole thing again. So we'll go back to the first position for the right hand, right up to the hilt of the sword. Just like that. Precision. Some of those guys are so tall. Two. Six foot six around, give or take. Squad one. Broad shoulders. Broad, yeah, broad shoulders. Squad one. And it's not looking too bad everywhere. It's, uh, it's quite a look, though. Then we made 50 horse rear ends which of course is the bane of my existence. And they spent, you know, a good four months making horse rear ends that had to be built with these trolleys and rigs and harnesses and all this crazy stuff. And there'd be a whole speed rail mount that went down to a set of wheels so they could kind of walk around. Ultimately, the problem with uh, creating a centaur is that a human uh, is the wrong height. We had to make the humans about 14 to 16 inches taller, depending on the height of the actor. So we actually ended up constructing some 30 or 40 different little platforms that we could then raise the actors up. Well, that just gets them to the right height. Now you have to worry about their motion, because their movement had to be natural to a horse. So the shape of, of an actor would be something more like uh, this with his body sort of attaching to where the neck portion of a horse would be, and then the legs would then come down here. So basically, everything below the waist was useless for us. So there was no sense in this case of actually motion capturing these guys, because we weren't ever going to use any of their real motion to drive the legs of the, of the horse part of their bodies. We only needed the top part for their, um, you know, their facial expressions and their bodies. We had to make sure the movements they did would work in concert with a huge horse butt that would be attached to them, because especially our centaurs, a lot of them were, you know, regal, honor guard, military type creatures, so they, their movements were very precise. The armor that we wear is pretty neat. Solid steel, full chain, a uh, formidable opponent, even for someone as tough as the Minotaur. Back armor sitting out from the back slightly, and this will accommodate for the curve of the horseback coming into here. The chain will sit further out at an angle here, so you're getting this beautiful transition into the horse body. Nice flexibility through the arms, these heavy pauldrons giving really good flexibility through here. Okay. And what we've 
we've got is an opportunity for a mounted combatant to actually weld a two-handed sword. He can swing this in a huge lateral arm. <laughs> that's the sword that you're carrying. So that's coming yeah. out. Oh, that's beautiful. With that sword, he's probably got a reach of six feet, which makes him terrifying. So we're casting components up for the send pools at the moment, a great deal of them. I think there's about 38 components per character. And they're so detailed and there's so much to them, like bits and pieces. And of course I want to see Patrick draw both his swords, but it's going to be dangerous. Yeah, you'll only have to do that at a full gallop while charging the white witch and jumping over polar bears. It will be fine.